gentlemen, welcome to another video here in Passage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to be checking out Project Cars 2. Now, I have always been an arcade racer fan. I suck so bad at the simulation racing games. I've never been a Gran Turismo fan. Forza, back whenever it was Project Gotham Racing, hell yes, I was massively into it, but since then, not so much. Horizons kind of caught my attention because it's still played arcadey, but I. Uh, Dude, I am a Ridge Racer fan. Like I, I will play Ridge and Rage Racer nonstop all goddamn day. Ridge Racer Type Four is one of my favorite games of all time. Burnout is my second favorite racing game of all time. Then after that, it's probably like Mario Kart and like uh, Sega All Stars, Transformed, or something like that. So, Project Cars doesn't quite draw my attention as most other racing games. My uh, most other racing games will or do, and. Um, I know a few friends of mine would say that's sacrilege, but I, I, I want to have fun. I, I, I don't drive in real life, so I pretty much don't have a sense of what real cars would handle like, so I drive like a fucking maniac in video games. Um, if I don't have blue sparks coming out of the back of my car, that's, uh, that's not a good start. <laughs> I want blue sparks. I want blue sparks, red, yellow sparks, red sparks, and blue sparks, and then whenever I come out of the corner, I want a speed boost. I don't want to actually be power sliding around an icy corner and smashing into a wall. So yeah, obviously Project Cars is looking snazzy as hell. Uh, Project Cars 2 has been a lot of attention to a lot of people. But I am going to check out uh, one of these three demo races that they have. So obviously they say, buy right here. Buy. Buy now! But uh, I'm not going to do that. So what have we got here? We've got... What are the three races? So we've got a Lamborghini... The fuck is that? I can't even read that with a sign. Hurricane. Rock you like a hurricane! No, not like that. Uh, Ferrari 488 GT3 and a Formula Renault 3.5. Uh, I suppose I'm, I, I'm a Ferrari fan, so I'll drive the Ferrari first. Um, yes, intense, raw, true to life racing. Shit. <laughs> I am going to feel miserably at this. I'm going to ruin the car. I'm going to have a terrible time. I'm probably going to feel miserably at this, but we'll give it a good try. We'll give it, give it the old college try. So let's see. Come on. Loading, loading, loading. This game is still loading. These games take so long to load. Oh my god. 40%, 50%. 60, 70, 80, 90. 60, 70, 80, 90. 60, 90. Not the 60 in a minute. Not the 60. And it goes by. It's a car. You gotta go fast. There we go. That's a good start. Uh, I am not going to tune the shit out of anything. So we're going to just give this a quick start. Oh, God damn it! No! No! No, don't do this to me! <laughs> Alright, at least it's a rolling start. <laughs> I don't know what the accelerator is! Alright, that looks like the accelerator. Good times, good times, good times. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Um, yeah, I'm very slow. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, penalty points everywhere. All the penalty points. 12 points, and I'm out of the race. At least I'm not in last. This is a super wet track. Um,. See, I'm starting to see the colors starting to change. There we go. Uh, no, 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 no. It's too cold, too wet. Uh, no, no! Get off the... There we go. Did I pass anyone? Nope. Didn't pass anyone, but doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as I don't spin out, it's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, somebody's off the road. There we go. Pass one car. Only because I used a pit maneuver. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Turn! Turn, you fucker! Son of a bitch! Alright, oh god, oh god! <laughs> Twitchiest balls, man. 
Alright, so this is the weight racing line. Uh, I am probably not going to keep to the racing line. Oh shit! Thank you very much for the update via controller speaker. Obviously that was probably not heard. Apparently we're having wet weather. Just going to start pissing balls while we're actually racing. I'm pretty sure it's already wet. Oh, come on. God damn you, reality, for ruining my expectations of driving games. Uh, come on, in the straightaway. All right, you go. Oh, shit. Break and turn, you fuck. So yes, the car physics are absolutely fantastic, as you can feel the roll of the vehicle vibrating through your hand, and you can feel the actual slow turning circle of the tortoise. Where the fuck is my Pac-Man car? <laughs> Did I spin that guy off the track and then he fucking died? God damn! That's exactly where I pitted him off the fucking road. Come on! Son of a bitch! Back on the road! Ah, oh, come on! Turn! Turn, you fuck! Ah! <laughs> oh. You gonna turn? Yes, you're turning! Well done! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, shit. No! Come on! There's five of these? No! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Darn you bastard! for me to give up now. I've never been a reality racer. Never been my thing. Uh, uh. Gotta go fast! Like, do you know one of the kind of games I actually enjoy? I enjoy things like Initial D. I enjoy things like Ridge Racer Type 4. I enjoy things like Rage Racer, I enjoy things like Project Gotham, I enjoy things like Horizon Horizons on occasion, I enjoy M like Motocross versus ATV, and where it's not even more about stunts, but it's just like, this seems unbelievably boring. I don't understand that there's actually a requirement of focus and repetition, and I've never been a repetition gamer in general, unless there's actually like a fun element involved. And this, oh, fuck me, does not feel like fun. I imagine maybe for people who are really into their um, simulations and really enjoy, you know, um, oh, 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 God, that really enjoy using like a steering wheel, gear shift, a full racing chair, this feels like an enthusiast game. They're the kind of game that um, would have a yearly release from like Microsoft as a flight simulator and uh, since then has become the residence of Euro Truck Simulator and like Farming Simulator that comes out every single year. And dude, I can completely understand where the level of enjoyment comes in those, like that zen moment whenever you really get into it. But I really want to smash people off the road. 
And it's not out of road rage. I thought that I'm a ragey person whenever it comes to driving. It's just that I really enjoy that instant visceral experience that things like Burnout gave me. Or, uh, oh, oh, oh. Come on, keep turning, keep turning, keep. Oh, come on, turn. Turn, you fuck. Turn! That was probably the best take of that turn I've actually done so far. Um, what was I trying to say? Yeah, uh, the Bur Burnout series. Obviously, it's not what it used to be. Burnout Paradise kind of ruined the gameplay for me. It was uh, the whole open world thing was completely unnecessary. Uh, Crash Party Junction was actually probably the best thing to come out of that fucking franchise in the last while. But um, Burnout Dominator, Burnout Revenge. Holy shit, were they fucking intensely fun experiences. And um, probably felt like almost like a Concord moment for arcade racers. I mean, uh, Split Second? Was it the one that actually did the Destructible Terrain? You people, what the fuck does that mean? Um, they were actually, like, they were watershed moments in racing games. They took the the intense fun of a Mario Kart, applied them to car vehicles, and added destruction, which was one of the things that these games tended to fucking shy away from so much because they wanted the official licenses. But instead, Burnout went like, fuck license, we want to blow these things up. Like, literally, we want to use things, like, we want to actually set dynamite inside the engines. So that whenever they explode, they fucking explode. And they get every motherfucker alongside it. Um, Crash Breakers was so goddamn awesome. And Revenge Blasts, uh, it, 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 trophies for actually literally leaping from a higher layer on top of another car. That was the kind of shit that I got, I got, I got car to mess and over. Um... While the other side of it was uh, Ridge Racer Type 4, where it did the story experience and made you play through GPs, where there was actually something on the line, there was people interacting with you between races that kind of affected what cars you had, and you made a few decisions along the way. And that was actually all I needed for a driving game. I didn't need what Need for Speed became, where it's actually it's it's a it's a Fast and Furious video game, just with the Need for Speed logo on it. You know, I, I've kind of. Maybe car culture itself is such a individual uh, experience and world that this is exactly what they want. But like I said, uh, it makes it a lot... Oh, come on. Fuck it. Going hard. Going around that corner and coming off the ramp. Um, it makes it a lot harder for people like me to get into. So we're on the finish. Where to make it. Boom. 14 out of 16. Yes! <laughs> um, yeah, there's two more races in this, isn't there? <laughs> no, I was looking at the, the runtime on this video, and already I'm going, no, no, nope, not for me, nope. So guys, thank you very much for actually watching. This has been me playing Project Cars. This is my first experience with Project Cars and will probably be my last. Um, for the people who I massively enjoy, tell me how of a stupid of an idiot I am in the comments below. Feel free to actually say exactly what you think about my commentary throughout this and my opinion and choices in video games that I actually do enjoy in the driving genre. Tell me some of your best. Tell me some of your favorites I actually have been over the last 15, 20 years. Because I, dude, I go all the way back to RC Pro-Am. That was my jam as a kid. So, shit. Uh, arcade all the way. Always will be up for the arcade gameplay. Um, not for this reality stuff. It's, it's reality and simulation. Uh, GT never, ever caught my attention. And as a series, even it has started to win in a lot of ways. Uh, what else? What else is there, is there to say? Project Cars gives a intensely realistic experience to car driving on well-known racetracks with very well-known cars and if that is your thing then baby they got a game for you but not mine so guys thank you very much for watching if you haven't been watching this on youtube i would just like to say click that button right up there or if you actually be watching this anywhere else uh well actually still watch on youtube there'll be a box right here that'll actually be a playlist of relevant videos for cold opens over here will actually be the most recent video on the channel and right here will be a video just for you based on these analytics and the things you do on youtube it will pick a video of the things i have made for you to enjoy and if you didn't like this one god damn you better like that one instead 
So guys, thank you very much. Like, comment, dislike, do whatever you feel is absolutely necessary. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.